Oh man, this is a game changer. <laughs> yeah, Chris was uh, out looking around. Not successful with the clams because of high tide. But he bet it, probably a better discovery. He found, they found a porcupine. So we got to get suited up here. Let's go get him. And we got to get it. Should I use this or the other stuff? I just keep using, oh. Well, which, which is better for turkey? Probably this stuff. That's better for turkey? Yeah, yeah. Eye on him right now. Yeah, you got a lead. You got to show me where to go, man. You'll see him as soon as we get up on top of this hill. Okay. Oh yeah. That's a good place to shoot him too. Where's his head? Up, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Are you guys ready? Ready to go. Man down. Stone. One shot. Man down. Whew. Then up. We in good tonight, boys. Oh yeah. He dead. Think about porcupine, and you guys have mentioned this before to me. Porcupine's a famine food, and this is the reason we did it the first time on our channel is because we wanted to know how to do it in case. We're in a situation basically like we find ourselves right now. So we're in a famine situation, so we're going to make use of the resources around us. The porcupine is an easy target, generally speaking. They like to hold still in the trees. They think they're safe up there, but uh, they're not a match for a gun. And we're hungry. I just, I just ate a pile of lobster and I'm, I'm still hungry. I'm behind on my calories. Either I quit and I go buy a cow or a chicken from the store. I mean, what's the difference? So we're harvesting from the land. There's a lot of porcupine in this neighborhood. Zach has told me to watch out for them. Um, there's always going to be another porcupine. So I have no qualms about eating this porcupine. I'm going to make full use of it. There we go. That'll eat good. I've had porcupine before. It's good. It's good meat. It's like, like any other. Just got to prep. Uh, just have to prepare it properly. And meat's meat, man. It's been survival, especially. Now the work begins. You guys probably can't tell, but the black flies are absolutely ridiculous right now. Like I couldn't even, can't even think right now. They're so bad. The chance of me plucking this is probably zero right now. I'm just gonna skin it and get it done with. And then we're gonna have to throw it in the pot and we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to stew it. There's no, there's no other way to do it right now. The mosquitoes, like I said, are so, so bad. Let's get it done, get it in the pot, let it stew up, cook it for a couple hours or even overnight. I mean, maybe we plan to go turkey hunting still today. So if we get that done, if we get it in water and we at least get it started, it'll be fine. In fact, it may be like a breakfast food right now, but it's still a great score. And it's something you just can't pass up. We'll uh, string it up up in the tree so we can work on it a little easier. I mean, I could cinch cook it too, but I think for where we're at right now, trying to get this done, I just think it's better for us to just get on with it. I have since cooked a porcupine before. It's not half bad. I'm interested is to try new ways of cooking things. I pit roasted a porcupine before and it turned out pretty good. It was nice and tender. Had a little bit of armpit flavor. <sighs> oh, black fly right in my eye. You got a knife, Chris? Yeah. Pretty dull. You skinned before? Yeah. You wanna jump in here? Yeah, you know. Unless you don't want to. Should I wear a glove? No, you just, just, just work slow. And if you grab here, you're fine, right? Yeah. If you grab here, it's soft. The, the belly's the belly soft. You don't, you know, can't milk a baby if you have quills there. I'm gonna give Chris a go here. Chris is Zach's apprentice. Malcolm, Malcolm is uh, the hidden wood, not the hidden woodsman, but he makes I, the hidden I, woods. I own the Hidden Woodsman. He owns the Hidden Woodsman. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh. And the Hidden Woodsman's not a person, it's a backpack company. Exactly. Started by Malcolm. He's got a good backpack uh, he, gave, he made me for turkey hunting. So, That's Chris has got a sharper knife at this point. My knife is just, it needs 10. I scaled too many fish with it. Yeah, mine's dull from the fish too. Yeah, for scaling? Yeah. Like I scaled probably 60 fish with that thing. It's I need to spend some time on it, sharpening it. Get a strop and whatnot. Yeah. 
So Chris has done deer before. I've never done a porgy by no. It's very new. It's not any different though. No, right? it's not bad, but well, I'm just like oh great. Look at this one. Ooh, not a tick. Pull a tick with yourself. It's just a Dude. dog tick. It's not a deer tick, we're good. So I'm not doing this just so I can get out of the work, although it's nice to get out of the work. I'm it's nice to it. it's nice not to be to rely like to just be the only person around here. Like Chris is perfectly capable of doing it. I'll be a little bit more confident if I ever have to do one for my second time. Yeah, and we're all here to learn. Malcolm's here to learn. Malcolm's been a great help on this challenge. Very patient with us. He says he knows what it's like to hang out with YouTubers, so. <laughs> I mean. There's a whole nother, another world behind filming videos. Yeah. You only see a very small, little, tiny percentage of it. You don't see us hustling around, and we're hustling, keeping it going. So just make sure that you don't cut, cut the, the meat. Hair. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. You just don't want, you. you don't want to if you don't, don't have to. Uh, yeah, no, it just it'll just separate. It'll separate later anyway when we stew it. Okay. But um, I mean, it, it's harder to pull the skin down when the meat's attached to it still. So you have to, you want to kind of keep it separate. Yeah. Outside, yeah. Yeah. I think that's it for for you guys. We're gonna. I'll show you when it's all done. We're skinning it like a, like you would a deer or whatever. So it's basically just pulling it back. You got it. Yeah. Just like that. And then pull just nice and even. Good. Sit. Nice. Yeah, so, so and then grab this arm. Now watch, it's gonna, gonna get lots of blood here. All right, we're just gonna go rinse them off in the creek. Chris has got the camera, he's helping me out. We're short on time. We might have time to go at least scout for turkey. If not, get a turkey, we'll see. It's a nice piece of meat, what do you think? Looks good. Does it look good? Looks Doesn't great. look bad. Grocery store approved. Yeah, right? Let's make sure we're gonna get, we're gonna have a look at this. In case we're eating this in the dark, we don't wanna bite into a quill. That would be really bad news. <laughs> it's gonna, there's a couple hairs here and there, but I think we did a, we did a pretty good job. Before that porcupine came in, I was actually enjoying a lobster dinner. <laughs> I didn't get to finish my last lobster, but uh, we got a bunch of leftover stuff. So leftover stuff here is going to get in, put into a pot and we're going to make a stew out of it so that we can get all the little bits here for tomorrow. So that'll stew down. Pre-hunt meal. Just a quick lobster body. Quick lobster snack. You'd be using a rock. Trying to bust that open if you didn't apply it. Yeah, making a mess. Porcupine was a distraction, but it may be the main course. So I gotta get packed up and we're gonna get over to the farm. We gotta get set up. And hopefully we beat the turkeys to the field. If not, I still think we could do it. If not, we can put some birds to rest and we can come up with a plan for next time. So I've always wanted, I wanted to do turkey. I paid a lot of money in here in Maine to do this challenge and I really want to get a turkey, so let's do it. What I'm hoping is that the birds are not already in the field, but I, the odds of that I think is pretty slim. I mean, still, it's still, still a couple hours from dark, so yeah. they're gonna mill around a couple hours in the field yeah. before they go up to roost. Um, that's, one, that's one scenario. The second scenario uh, is that we kind of get there and we, we can at least figure out where they're roosting, and that'll give us an idea on how to hunt them. Hold up, hold up! Go back up, back up. <laughs> There's freaking turkeys on the road. Should we go ask this person? Hey, hold up. We want you. Come back here. I told him to floor it. He's like, should I? I'm like, floor it. Should I? Nah, that's too much cheating. That's a big old tom, though. That was a good size tom. Do you know these people? No, I have no idea who they are. We can ask, though. Do you want it? I don't know. I don't Is really it? want to, but I mean, no. if you want to. It's just a turkey. All right, just a turkey. Dude, that was a big old tom. Looks like he got two big ass eyes. Whoa, come yeah. away. It's almost worse, of course. Am 
Mosquitoes are terrible. Or black flies. Not the mosquitoes. You get, oh, you got a head mat. You're a smart guy. Oh. Brutal. Yeah, we wait. Alright, we just wait. That's all we can do. Hopefully they show up in this field. They're here this morning, so they should be back. Chris had to duck out. The mosquitoes were way too bad. So I'm gonna sit here for about an hour. And he's just gonna come pick me up. When shooting light is over. Hopefully I see something. So what I was trying to say there was that the turkeys walked. I didn't spook them. I didn't mess up. They came up on a leash. I made, I didn't make any sounds to them all the way down the field. They gobbled a few times at the decoy and then they did a little horseshoe and then went down the trail. And then as they started leaving, I started calling to them, try to get their attention, maybe get them to turn back around. They went around behind me and they came up through the woods and then I heard them fly up in the tree. It's not legal to shoot them out of a tree. Not, it's not very sporting to shoot them out of a tree either. I mean, that's the bad news. The good news is we have two roosted gobblers and I know exactly where they are. I basically took my stuff and I bolted out of there. The turkeys, they get agitated when they see people, but if you don't wait too long and don't look around for them in the tree and spook them, they don't get too agitated enough to fly off. So that's what I did, just kind of jumped out of there. So I know exactly where they are, but again, there's more bad news. The bad news is that there's no Sunday hunting. So I can't come tomorrow morning to do it, to finish the job off. I can't, I don't, I don't, I, this is, it's almost like, it's not like a guaranteed. I mean, that, that was pretty close. I mean, that was pretty close. It, like 20 yards was the difference between me shooting and not shooting. That's it. I still got that porcupine to eat. Malcolm decided to stay back. Um, he just wanted to stay out of the way. I totally respect. You just sit in the woods. I miss the black flies are so bad. That's why Chris left. I'm still hungry. I'm still really hungry. Even after three lo three, eating three lobsters. Here's a little bit of TMI. Because you want TMI, right? Everybody wants it. Well, I haven't had a dump in two days. And in those two days, I've eaten like three stomach loads full of clams. <laughs> and three lobsters <laughs> so it's such a weird thing man i think my body's just absorbing absolutely everything i put into it at this point now 
I'm looking forward to be to be done. I'm looking forward to eating regular foods and getting back on schedule because this pace is wrecking me. Here's my ride. <laughs> it's dark now, obviously, so for the joys of doing everything in the dark, just check the porcupine here. It's uh, not quite there yet. We just left it on the grill, obviously, when we left. I don't know about that one. You got a stick? Can you yep. stir it there? Yep. How's that look, guys? You know it's ready when it kind of breaks apart, and that's not quite there yet. No. Can you pull it up out of the water a little bit? There's a cloud in the water. Yeah, that's all the nutrients being extracted from the... <laughs> How does that look? Lovely? I mean, it's cooked. It's cooked, but it's probably not fall off the bone. I mean, it's, cl it's close. Let me see. I feel like that water's going to be pretty hot. What do you think? Oh, yeah, it's pretty hot. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not quite there yet. No. Once the legs the fall apart. Yeah, I mean you could eat the belly meat. That's just belly more water. more lean protein. Yeah, throw her in there. Got the my corn cakes on there, I'm happy I have those. That was a really wise decision on my part because at least when I go to sleep, I'm feeling half decent. I don't know where it's gonna end up. If I can eat a little bit, I'll eat a little bit. Otherwise we have leftover uh, lobster. We didn't add any water to it, so probably should do that next and then at least let it make a broth or whatever. There's that pot's too small, but once out of that, I throw it in with the porcupine. Might still throw some of it in the porcupine, whatever, half and half. That's probably not a bad idea. Primitive stone cooked ash cakes, corn, flour, massive flour, desperately needed. I'm so far behind my calories, but man, have I eaten a volume of food. You wonder why I do this, man? I'm in pain right now. Like, it's painful. I just want to eat food. Really high quality food. I think we're just short on all the things that we need. I mean, after doing this for five seasons, I don't know what the answer is. Go back to last year, you might find it there. If people think they're just gonna jump in the woods and survive, not gonna happen. I mean, we're using, we're using modern tools here. There's no limit on the number of tools and we're still struggling. I gotta get another cake. It's a struggle just to make these cakes. It takes me half an hour to make these cakes. I get all fire going, it's crazy. The human body, the modern human body just needs more than we can give it from wild foods. It's as simple as that. All right, how's our fish doing? Looking good. Looking good, they're not. It needs some more. Yeah, it needs a little bit more. They're not quite cooked yet. And then our, there's our squirrel friend for, from late, uh, earlier this morning. He never got smoked. He's got smoked, but he never got cooked. You can tell the meat's a little raw. So I'm going to grab him and we're going to throw him in the stew pot because if we don't, he's going to spoil. All right, he's going to go for a swim, his last swim. Bye bye little squirrel. A little bit of lobster, a little bit of porcupine, a little too much porcupine, that can go back. This can go in. Whoa, that's hot. There we go. We just got to let that cool off and I'll take a sip. Ooh. What do you think? Yeah, it'd be nice to have some meat. Zach's back, by the way, from his speaking engagement. He's been running the camera from me. Looks good. What are we calling this? Lo lobster, no, uh, porcupine bisque? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zach came back, he had the option of uh, porcupine and lobster, or lobster, because <laughs> we got two pots going. One straight up lobster and one porcupine lobster that's all we got sorry Zach <laughs> we did not get a turkey we tried we were really close like really close like like that close anyway we'll be back at it we'll get another crack at it I shared some around camp Malcolm tried some so I'll hear from him in a second but it's been stewing for probably five hours it's not done yet there's a piece of meat it's not finished yet 
um, we'll let this go overnight. That's the best way to make any sort of wild game stew. It's good. It has a, uh, a very seafood flavor to it. I wonder why. You can't taste the porcupine at all? No. I, really? I, the, the, the lobster is very, very strong. Yeah. Well, but it's, it's thick. You, I, can, I can feel like... It's not like I'm drinking water. It, 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 I can definitely feel like I'm, I'm, I'm drinking, a, um, I'm drinking a, a soup. Yeah. You know? Is it good? Do you like it? Would you drink it again? Oh, I'd eat it for a meal. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a little potato in there and a little carrot. <laughs> Such is the story. <laughs> yeah. <butter>. No. <laughs> celery, celery, carrot, potato. You know. Yeah. It makes it a proper meal. I like it. Yeah. I would definitely. I definitely. Uh, it's, it's edible. First time eating porcupine. First time. Oh, it's like chicken noodle, noodle soup. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Minus the noodle <laughs> and I the mean, chicken. Yeah, but that's that's not bad. Uh, if you guys watch the whole video, right full stop, we're gonna still pursue the turkey. And I hope you guys will stick around. If you have just started watching this, you'll have to watch all the way to the end to figure out if we gain or maintain our body weight. That's the goal. We're eating only wild foods that we collect. I'm in Maine and I'm with Zach Fowler. I'm with Malcolm and I'm with, uh, what do you want to be called, Chris the Apprentice? Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> And he's holding the camera for me, so I really appreciate that. And if you ever want to come to Canada, Malcolm too. If you ever want to can come to Canada, let me know. Hit, hit me up. Appreciate appreciate you guys' your company. Appreciate you guys helping me. Appreciate you coming down, Chris.